Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you find yourself today, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you so that you can go ahead and be the blessing to those you encounter on your walk today. So the truth is, when I normally read a verse like the one we're starting with today, Romans 1.1, I gloss over it. But here it is, Romans 1.1, Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God. So it sounds like an ordinary introduction, right? But I did some reading, and what's so amazing about this verse is actually the order in which Paul describes himself. First, he calls himself a servant of Christ Jesus. And then he goes on to describe the work that God called him to. And if you know anything about Paul, this is big work. Namely, he was in charge of spreading the gospel to non-Jewish people. Hence all the letters that he wrote, which made up a huge part of the Bible. But here is what I found absolutely fascinating. So I recently read that the word in the original Greek isn't just a servant. It's actually a bond slave. And a bond slave is totally different than what we think of as a slave or a servant. A bond slave is a slave who had already been released from their duty because they had served the allotted time, which was seven years, but who voluntarily wanted to remain a servant to their master. So this person, if they decided to become a bond slave or a voluntary slave, went to the temple and they got an earring to signify to the world that they wanted to be a slave to their former master. And this earring told the world that their master was good, so good in fact, that they wanted to, for the remainder of their life, keep this role. So what Paul is saying by introducing himself as a bond servant is that his master, Christ Jesus, has been such a good master and caregiver to him that Paul's whole identity now is to serve Jesus. Isn't that cool? Don't you actually love studying the Bible instead of skimming it? Anyway, may you be so enveloped by the love of what your master Jesus has done for you that you choose to be a bond slave to Jesus Christ. And then you just wait and see how he sets you apart for the gospel of God. Until next time, Kate.